watch this week, hopefully. Uh, all the world media is watching it, like CNN's coming, ABC, all kinds of people, so it's really interesting. Yeah, we're actually, that's why I'm, we don't even have a location yet. So this thing's moving very fast, but uh, yeah, we're, uh, hopefully today we'll have to find a place. It'll probably be in a mall or something. Turns out that it's not that easy. You just put an ATM in the mall. I don't know why, uh, but we'll have to figure all this kind of stuff out as we go. So, Yeah, he's asking about the Bitcoin supposed crash. Uh, it started the year at 15, as everyone knows, and went to 250, and it's now like 120. Uh, the, the reason that uh, I believe it's the volatility is because it's still a very small market. There's 11 million Bitcoins outstanding, and uh, so at today's rate, that's $1.3 billion worth of Bitcoins. Uh, that's a tiny market. And we get all this media, like I was on the every mainstream media last week talking about it. Everyone's talking about it. So it brings in a lot of demand. There's not a lot of supply. It spikes. Then as always, it goes too far. People panic. They all start selling. Uh, as Bitcoin grows, as it becomes more used as money, it will become less and less volatile because it will be a bigger market. I think that's it. All right. Thank you very much. Go like this. Relax your hands for a second. If I hit two hands, well, I do have two hands, but if I could use both of them, I'd do this. All right. Now that you've done that, give it up for Jeff Berwick one more time. My job as your MC is so easy because you guys are an incredible crowd. Come on. Get comfy. This is the VIP lounge. Let's see. Slide over. Yeah, make some room. All right. I was told to tell you, every one of you, that next door in that little room over there with the lone bartender, they're doing karaoke now. You guys strong enough to do karaoke? You guys hear? What's up? You guys need to stand up and stretch? What's up? You're like, yeah. Stand up. Everybody stand up. I'm serious. Stand up. Stand up. Come on. Fuck you in your anarchy. I got six people standing up and they rock. Stretch, turn around, do your thing. All right, good. Same. <laughs> oh, I was also supposed to make an announcement earlier when I talked with a bartender back there who, by the way, shout out the $9 beer night, right? All right. <laughs> it's true. It's from a movie, but it's true. Um, in the back, if you use a, a credit card or a debit card, they're going to give you an automatic $50 minimum and... I think, I don't know if they add gratuity. You guys add gratuity or not? Whatever. Tip them. Tip your bartenders. And an easy way to tip your bartender is to buy more alcohol. So I'm sorry for shoving alcohol you know, in your face right now. If you got weed, smoke that too. But if you want to buy some alcohol, they have it for sale right back there. And I want to give another shout out to the uh, work in progress for not turning on that weird ass face back here. Look at this thing. They fucking, you guys see this? You ever see this thing before? All right. They turn this light on and this thing looks at you and speaking of LSD, if I was tripping right now, I'd be fucking talking to that thing and ignoring every one of you. Chris Cantwell, ladies and gentlemen, is on deck. On his way to the stage. 